Oh, hey, welcome everyone. This is Will KMAC Vintage coming to you tonight. It is Tuesday, April 9th. It's 8 p.m. here in Cayman. We are on Central Time. So, um, I know Justin is streaming right now, but I also want to try to get some work done here. So, um, I can watch his later, and I already was there and gave thumbs up in that. Uh, sorry, this camera is in the way here. This is a temporary camera, so to look down and to zoom in better, I had to bring it down quite a bit because this camera does not have zoom capabilities. So, anyway, um, what I have here, let's, matter of fact, let's go to it. Uh, this is another SC30, yes, and the thing is that this is a nice-looking board. I mean, the board is uh, looks perfect, okay, and this is this board is from a person in um, Armenia from, that goes by the name of, I think I pronounced it right, Va, Vahan, or Van, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but um, he sent me this board. And the board is beautiful. I mean, it's, 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 yes, there was one, I mean, I got it, and I looked at how good it looks. It was missing some caps, and I put those on, um, because it was recapped, and he's done some work on it, but um, had some issues that it wouldn't work. So I found a broken trace underneath the swim, and I fixed that, and the board boots up. It works fine. I mean... Um, I'll, up to a certain extent, let me say that. Um, if I have the speaker connected, I get a chime. But as soon as I plug in headphones, where I'm supposed to hear it on the headphones, I get nothing. And trust me, I have already tried everything. I've looked at the caps here, the Sony chips. I've changed the inverter here. I've changed both, I've, I've changed both of these transistors that are sitting here. Um... I even changed the L2 here. I changed the jack um, to see. I went through all the circuitry back here that is related to the audio and checked everything. Um, everything as well as well. I mean, I'm getting a. Let me put it this way: on these two, on these two resistors here that are 1K, I'm getting I'm getting half of that. I'm getting five 535 on them. But as soon as I take out this L2. Um, 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 choke here those go up to 1k so that tells me something here but the thing is that all all the traces for this I mean I did I did trace it back from one side of it to here and from the other side to all the circuitry that it goes and I have continuity I have values okay I even scoped it out and it is putting out on, on pin 10 it is putting out the audio that then goes to these to these caps and then goes to goes to the jack. That's there, okay, but it doesn't get to the jack, okay. Which is what I find strange because it has to get to the jack for it to come through the speaker, okay. Because that's how this system works: is that it goes from here to the jack and then from the jack on to 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 the speaker. Because when you put in the, the headphone, that's what kills the audio going from the headphone jack to the speaker here. So anyway, I can't figure it out. Uh, I think it's something internal inside inside the board. So I'm going to have to actually reload this. I don't have a choice. And, and um, so basically with this video here, what I'm going to start doing is taking chips off. So... And I end up laying them out here on my bench in a certain order. Pretty, pretty much the same order as what they go on the board. So, you're going to see me. You're going to get to witness or have some fun with me taking off some chips. So, let's start doing it. Um, So now, yeah, there may be, I mean, there had to be cap leakage for that trace to break. So I'm going to chalk it up to some trace being broken somewhere. 
So if you do get to watch this video, Vaughn or um, Vahan, I hope I, I hope I pronounce it right. Um, this is this is your board. I'll end up socketing those those actually small PLC tips. The sound chip and cleaned it and put it back. The Apple sound and ASC chip. So I really don't know what else to do about the audio. So because I spent all the day working on it, trying to figure out what the issue is. So now I did just finish another board. That was the board for a team. And I uploaded the videos so while they're busy uploading right now. I was hoping not to have to reload this board. But the board is in such a good shape. So trying to get all these off. Getting to the end of the PLCCs. So uh, I'm really enjoying how good I'm starting to become doing these SE30s. My track record has been very good. Done over 30 boards now. I've done um, either board work or sold products to um, 22 different countries. I, I did a I did a check on that a couple of days ago. To see where else where all I'll send boards to. All right, let's see if we can get this big glue off. I have a hot plate that's on the way to me.
There we go. Glue is off. That came off nicely. Okay, FPU is off. Okay. Now I got a lot of these small little, smaller chips to take off, so let's get to them. These are the 258s. There's six of them. They're used for the memory. I think almost every single chip on this I'm going to be able to reuse. Chips come on pretty quick and easy. It's not a lot of work. What's a lot of work is taking out those sockets in the back. Well, the, the DB19, DB25. Most of these are new caps that I put on, so I'm going to try to take them all off and save them. All right, let's see where I'm at with taking up more chips. These are the video related chips, the Muxes and that. Two LS 393s and one 166 and four 253s. The 166 I'm doing right now, and this first 253s are the two that most of the time get damaged. 
because it is one cap is right here. Okay, the things are coming off good. So today, too, my belt and my garage door broke. Luckily, my mom just put in a new garage door motor and, and door. So her old one is there. It's the same one I had. So I can take the belt off of that one. All right. So I've gotten what I can off like that. Now I got a couple PLCs, a couple um, chips here I need to take out that are not in socketed. So basically all I do, these are just dips. These are the video RAM. So I'm going to heat them up like this. See, so with my hook here, I'm just prying it out. And there it comes out. A lot easier than sitting there trying to solder wick every pin out. Those two are out. Okay. Um, let's do the RTC. Do that the same way. Okay. Now I've got these two, well, these three resistor pack networks. These are also stuck in there with directly on the board.
screen. Okay. No broken legs, no broken chips or nothing. I think that's all I can do for now. Chip wise. Now the chips I'm not really too worried about keeping them separated. Most of those other ones too, I know now where they all go and, and it's easy to find where I need to put them. Okay, so now the other thing that I want to work on All right, let's see if I can do some of it. I want to try to get some of these things out. The, these are the this is the DB19 now. I got these look so nice. I mean, I want to save them. Let me get my other ice. Plunger. So yeah, I was saying that my mother has a garage door opener that she just took down, not even a month ago. That is also belt driven. It's exactly the same as mine. So I'm going to take the belt off of that one tomorrow morning and put it on my door. What happens is that those belts, after years in the heat of the garage, they just start falling apart. That's exactly what happened to mine. Chunks of it are missing.
Okay, that one is out. Well, these are the ADB ports. Now this other ADB won't be able to come out right away because the little frame, the metal bar there that holds the board in the case when you screw in the screws and supports it is in the way. And I don't want to bend it. And I don't want to take it off yet because I need the I need the height for later for me to take out that CPU. See if I try to wiggle it out. Well, let's see. Yeah, it won't. It won't let me take it out yet. But it's okay. All right, we'll go over here to the two serial. You can see how quick we actually strip this board. I mean, not even 30 minutes. I want this fell out. Okay, that one is out. I fell on the ground. All right, what else is here that I can take out? The crystal. That should be right here.
take it from off. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and take off are these ferrite beads. There's 15 of them, and I need to use them for the for the next board. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, all right, so let's see where we're at here. So should I take all that to see if I can take the CPU and be done with it? I take it out the same way. The thing about the CPU is, I mean, it doesn't need to be 100% clean. And you'll see why in a minute. what's happening it's dropping on its own after I get so many of them out and the rest get heated it just drops on its own
See, it's already on the ground. There it is. CPU is out. Okay, well, since we're here, let's just finish these last few items. I got this other choker over here. Or choke, or whatever you want to call it. It already fell. Now, now, now you see why I don't remove that that bar yet because I take advantage of the height and let the stuff fall. Got one more on this side here. Hot, hot, hot. You know what? That one I actually I already took out the original one because I used I I I changed that. There was one other thing. Oh yeah, I wanted to do the two switches. So they are right here. Yep, they're both out. Alright. Ah, uh, sorry. I know this camera's been all over the place. I apologize for that. Okay, so. Only thing left off here. These are in socketed, so I'll take them out. This is in a socket. I'll take that out later. These, I'm, I'm not going to use any of these. These are the things I'm not going to reuse. Just this piece of metal here, I'll reuse. And I'll take out this other um, ADB right there. This audio jack is one I put in. I already took out the actually original, so I, I have that. So I'm going to put this board aside. And we have all of our stuff here. I need to vacuum in here. I'll vacuum the floor a bit later. So right now, I just want to try to get some of this debris.
Yes, I'm soldering with a solder sucker makes a mess, as you can see. But look at all the stuff that I got off. I mean, look at it all sitting there. So that's where everything is sitting. So now I need to go get a board. I don't know how much of this I'm going to do tonight because I'm a bit tired. Okay, so this is the bottom of the board. This has the bird seat stuff on it. The bird seat are all these other small little SMD stuff. This is the front side of it. I do have a camera coming. Um, it's in Miami right now. I'll probably fly down tonight or tomorrow with my with my forwarder. So normally what I like to do first is put on all of these chips, all of those things, the LCCs. Okay, then I'll do the caps and go on from there. But it's almost 9 o'clock, so I don't think I'm going to do too much more of this tonight. I'm already at 43 minutes with this video. My main goal was to try to get as all the stuff off as I could, and it is all, most of it is off. See, you see how quick and simple we did a CPU? Look at that. And we have the nice new board. CPU will go in the stock, and all these dips will get sockets. Um, so, nicely done, nice process here. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow morning, the uh, only thing I need to do is fix my garage door first. Then I'll come and do some more videos and I'll build this whole thing out or most of it tomorrow. Well, I'll finish it tomorrow. It takes me about four hours to do a full board. Um, I may not talk a lot during it. I apologize for that. Um, I don't want to do it as a live stream because I like to put them... Um, the people that they're for like to, like to see their boards being done, so I'll work on it that way. So Vaughn, um, here's part one. You know, this is the stripping of all the items. Um, I know all the items work because they were working on that other board. Just something. something about, there are some internal strip. See here. At least they're on this side of the board. They're not in the inner layers. So folks, what I'll do is I will continue this video tomorrow. But for now, this is it. So I do have to play one small little section for you. Please hit like, subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications. Yeah. And on that scene, um, in that picture, that is a real beach down here. It's just down the road from me. The, it's the property of my old boss. Um, he was the acting port director while I was a deputy director. Um, he retired a few months after me. So that's just down the road from him, and I go there sometimes. So uh, we're still good. very good friends to talk all the time about things and that. So anyway. Um, Thank you. I hope this was a bit informative on how to, how I actually strip a board. Um, as you saw, I took just about everything off that board, except for things that I'm not going to bother, like the RAM sockets, the SIM sockets, the, the RAM and ROM sockets, those have, those have the plastic clips, so they're not worth saving, um, un unless they become totally obsolete now and hard to find and so forth. But so yeah, there's going to become time that I mean, we're not going to be able to find any 30-pin SIM sockets. I mean, RAM I can still buy, but the place that I was buying RAM from, they had like 700 of them, and I bought them all. Um, so when I run out, I mean, it's going to be a bad day for us all. So anyway, 
Now, thanks for watching, folks, and we'll see you on the next video. I'm just looking around the monitor for me to click on the stop recording. I can do it on my stream deck. All right, folks, bye-bye.